What's up guys, Robsco here, and this is the brand new Liberty Air 2 Pro from Soundcore. Officially announced January 12th, 2021, and you can now get them in the links down below. So the unboxing experience is the same as the Liberty 2 Pro with this fold-out box, and inside you get a charging case, two wireless earbuds, eight extra pairs of ear tips, and a USB-C cable. Moving to the design, the charging case has a very clean pebble design similar to the Liberty 2 Pros. It's nice and round with a soft touch plastic, and it's not too big, but it's still not as pocketable as the AirPods Pro. It's got a big old glossy Soundcore logo on the top, three LEDs at the front as a battery indicator, and a USB-C port and tactile connect button on the back. You can also see a subtle blue iridescence glow in certain angles, and I'm all for this black and blue color shift. This is available in four different flavors. You have black, blue, white, and pink, and I definitely think the blue one looks the best. Now despite the case being pretty subtle looking, it does have the flashy feature of a sliding lid to reveal the earbuds, and it's even more satisfying when you close it. The earbuds have your typical long stem design and has quite a big head, but it's there to fit all the audio drivers and battery inside. Underneath the stem is where we find the charging contacts that match the case, and it's also magnetic so your buds should just stick right in. These earbuds have a translucent tip, and underneath it we have this fancy gold swirl as the audio filter. I wish they would have made this tip a little longer because when it's so close to the head of the earbud, especially when it's big like this, it's somewhat difficult to get a good passive seal. These earbuds do feature six noise cancellation microphones and the audio quality is actually pretty good. Okay guys, right now we are recording on the Liberty Air 2 Pro's microphone. Right now we're in a very controlled environment where there's practically no background noise whatsoever. So the microphone should be as clear as it can be in terms of its settings. And this is what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good, pretty clear, I would say. It might be, if not the best microphone that I've heard so far on some wireless earbuds. And yeah, this is a pretty good testament to see where the technology of noise cancelling microphones are, because a lot of the times, noise cancellation microphones are usually just a bust. Doesn't really sound too good. And now we're gonna switch over to the super loud environment noise. All right guys, so right now we're doing the environmental testing of these noise cancellation microphones. Once again, there are six noise cancellation microphones on each of the earbuds, but when you're wearing both the earbuds at the same time, it's gonna be using the right earbud for the voice calls. And right now I just have a bunch of street noise in the background on my speakers playing at full blast. And this is probably abnormally loud and I don't think you'll be in this kind of environment unless you're in like New York at like prime time in the afternoon when everyone's moving. But this is what the vocals sound like. It sounds pretty suppressed, I would feel, compared to what we had before in the stock controlled environment, because due to the noise cancellation properties, it's going to suppress a lot of the background noise. You still will be able to hear a lot of the environment, obviously, a lot of honking of cars and stuff like that. Vocals, I don't think it's too bad. It's pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Does it sound good? Is it on par with other wireless uh, headphones, earbuds with noise cancellation microphones, let me know in the comments down below. When it comes to the appearance of wearing these earbuds, it's not too crazy of an aesthetic. The silhouette is pretty much the same as any wireless earbuds on the market that have a stem. But I do love the sharp contour of these stems and it kind of gives off a bit of a sci-fi vibe which I really dig. And these are IPX4 rated which means it's great for workouts and light rain. Now let's talk about the controls. These wireless earbuds do use touch sensitive buttons that are found at the top of the stems and the controls are fairly simple. If you double tap the right earbud, you can play and pause your music. If you double tap the left earbud, you can move a track forward. If you hold any of the earbuds for two seconds, you can change the listening mode. Auto pause and auto play are also available, but the pause feature does have a delay. And from what you can see, yes, you can't pause music if you just use the left earbud, and you can't change tracks if you just use the right earbud, which is a pretty flawed functionality. Now when it comes to the sound quality, you're definitely getting a full listening experience. It does feature Pure Note technology, where the drivers are covered with 10 hardened nano layers to generate stunning accuracy and clarity. I'm not an audiophile, so I'm not going to go super into depth about this or how much of it is a marketing ploy, but I will say is that when you're listening to these wireless earbuds, you can definitely hear that hard hitting bass, but not in a way where it's muddy, because the highs are still very clear and the mids still come through very well. It's a very well-balanced sound signature despite it having an emphasized lower frequency. And when it comes to the active noise cancellation, it's great because it removes a lot of the environmental noise. And the typical white noise that you usually hear with active noise cancellation headphones is almost unnoticeable in these earbuds. The performance is pretty similar or even on par with the AirPods Pros, 
But one thing is that when you're changing listening modes, for example, from ANC to normal mode, the audio does get muted for quite a bit of time, which isn't too great. Connectivity is super simple. Bluetooth 5.0 does most of the work, but you just need to press the connect button until it shows up on your device and you're good to go. These earbuds have a standard range of 10 meters, just like the AirPods Pros, but obviously if you have walls in between your source and the earbuds, that range is gonna be cut short. No multipoint available on these wireless earbuds, which is kind of disappointing, but you can connect to multiple devices at once. You also have the Soundcore app that goes along with these earbuds, where you can make your own EQ, choose preset EQs, change the listening mode from ANC to transparency to normal mode, and you can also change your playback controls. So this is the Soundcore app and we'll go from left to right. First you have Hear ID, which is an easy way to make a custom EQ preset that fits you. You can also make your own EQ settings or even choose from a variety of preset EQs to see which one fits your taste the best. In the middle we have our ambient noise where we choose our listening modes. Noise cancellation has a bunch of modes that cut specific frequencies, but I feel like the changes are so subtle you'll probably end up just using one for everything. There's also a custom wheel that has different levels of ANC, but the change is so minor it's not even worth using it. To describe full transparency mode, it sounds like as if you wore regular earbuds and you had a hole inside the tip so that you can hear the outside. It really doesn't sound great at all. With vocal mode, it sounds more similar to the AirPods Pro transparency mode. It sounds just like regular ANC, but you hear voices better. And don't ever choose normal mode because you didn't just pay $130 to make it sound like regular earbuds. Lastly, we have the controls. As mentioned before, you only have two controls per earbud, which is honestly really stupid. For the double tap feature, you can change volume or any playback commands. And the hold feature lets you change listening modes as well as set playback functions. The battery life of these guys are awesome. A single charge gives you around seven hours of playback and the charging case gives you another 19 hours. So you get a total of 26 hours of playback. And I'm not even mad that the charging case has a relatively smaller battery than other wireless earbuds because Within 15 minutes of charging your earbuds inside the case, you're getting another three hours of playback. And you can charge the charging case from zero to 100 in around an hour and a half. And that's just the beauty of USB-C. Not to mention that you can also wirelessly charge the case too. Let's end it off with the pricing. The Liberty 2 Pros cost $130, which is an insane price for something with good audio quality, excellent single charge battery performance, and has active noise cancellation and transparency mode. The other options that you have on the market right now are the AirPods Pros that cost $220, the Sony XM3s for $230, and you also have the Bose QCs for $280. They're the newest pair, but they're also the cheapest of the bunch, so it's almost a no-brainer into which one you should be getting. I will say that the aesthetics of these wireless earbuds aren't the best, and they might not be the most comfortable. But considering how low the price is to get these compared to the competition, it really gets your gears turning to think about whether or not it's worth it to get these despite its looks and comfort. When it comes to the issues, I only have one major complaint for Soundcore. I have no idea why they decided to remove the one tap feature. As you may or may not know, the one tap feature has been used in wired earbuds, wireless earbuds, wired headphones and wired headphones to play and pause. But instead, Anchor decides to complicate things and use the double tap to play and pause. And what's even worse about these wireless earbuds is that when you have both earbuds in, the left earbud only controls playback. So you can only move forward a track. And on the right earbud, you can only control play and pause. So you can't do the same controls on each earbud when both of them are in. Like, why is that the case? I also don't like the fact that you can't go back a track. Like you literally have the left ear dedicated to playback, but you can't even go back a track. That is so stupid. There's really no need to change these universal wireless earbud controls. It's not innovative, it's stupid, and you're really not giving the user a good experience. You just made some amazing wireless earbuds with some good active noise cancellation and good battery life. And you just throw it all away with some really bad controls. Just use the controls of the AirPods Pros. One tap plays and pauses, two taps moves forward a track, three taps moves back a track, and you just hold the button so that you can change the listening mode from transparency to active noise cancellation. It's that simple. And you can also do it on both earbuds. I don't get why it's so hard for Anchor to understand that you don't need to overcomplicate things. Anchor, stop overcomplicating things. So what do you guys think? Are the Liberty Air 2 Pros worth it? It's got good active noise cancellation, transparency mode, good battery life, and good sound quality. 
Let me know the factors that would make you want to or not want to choose these earbuds. If you want to buy them, links are going to be in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.